Life without a toilet is dirty, undignified and dangerous. Yet it's what billions of people across the world have to live with every day. And it's why the United Nations has designated the 19th of November as World Toilet Day. The aim is to raise awareness about the importance of sanitation and health and also to promote public safety, economic development and environmental protection. Let's take a look at just how serious the problem is. Now, according to the UN, three and a half billion people have no regular access to safe toilets and around two billion people risk drinking water that is contaminated with feces. Added to that, around 700 children under the age of five die every day from diseases that are related to contaminated water. And that's not all. In countries such as India, where women have to use open spaces and fields, they risk sexual abuse or even worse, rape. Then there's the environmental issue. Toxic soil is dangerous, it is contaminated and therefore an environmental hazard. Now, earlier on, I spoke to Lorraine Kingsley, who is with the charity Toilet Twinning, and she explained to me just how urgent the matter is. So I think, as you said before, um, for people that don't have toilets, it it is everything. Uh, we take it for granted that we have a toilet, but for 1.7 billion people who don't have somewhere safe and hygienic, that means that for adults, they're not working their land because they're sick all the time. So they're not able to put food on the table and feed their family. For children who are constantly in a cycle of sickness because of diarrhea related illnesses, they're not going to school, they're not getting an education. And for women, there's all the safety issues around having to go to the toilet in the bush and uh, they get attacked. Uh, or they get bitten by snakes as they go to toilet in the bush. And for girls, often they drop out of school when they reach teenage years because there aren't clean and hygienic toilets for them to use uh, during their periods. So all around, it's a massive issue that affects so many people in the world, but particularly affects women and girls. I, it seems to me that there is uh, a lack of emphasis on this particular issue compared to others, say, for example, uh, hunger alleviation. Why do you think that is? I think there is a taboo still around toilets. I think we've made huge inroads um, around clean water and access to clean water. There is a government will behind that subject. But for toilets, I think the thing is that we uh, have probably heard over the years of stories about governments or communities that have built toilets, but then they have fallen into disrepair because there hasn't been the education program that has gone alongside it to explain about the link between sanitation and health, which then means that that leads to behavior change and leads to people actually using the toilets that are built. So it's incredibly difficult for governments to put the money behind it because they just want to do the infrastructure. They just want to build the toilets and think that that can solve the problem, but you have to have the education package with it. And that's long-term in the communities where we work, our local partner organizations would be expecting to go back to a community for up to three to six years after communities have started building toilets to keep re-educating that community, keep reinforcing to them that they've got to maintain that toilet, they've got to look after it. These are people working hand to mouth. This is sustained people living off the land. If you've got to choose between maintaining your toilet or growing food, you're going to choose growing food.